Today we'll be using simple geometry to expand the trigonometric identities sin alpha plus beta and cosine alpha plus beta. Let's begin. Look at this diagram. This line is of length 1 unit. It makes an angle of beta with the x-axis. Let's drop a perpendicular from this point to the x-axis. We get a right triangle. This is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. The opposite side is of length sin beta and the adjacent side is of length cos beta. Now, let's rotate this triangle counterclockwise by alpha. This is the new position of the triangle. This angle is alpha now. Remember, we rotated the triangle by alpha. We drop a perpendicular from this vertex of our right triangle to the x-axis. And we get this right triangle. Look at this triangle carefully. Its hypotenuse is cos beta. We want to know the measure of this opposite side and this adjacent side for this triangle now. We know that sin alpha is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. We see that the hypotenuse for this triangle is cos beta. So, we replace the denominator with cos beta. We get the opposite side as sin alpha cos beta. Similarly, we know that cos alpha is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Can you tell me what the adjacent side is? Yes, it's cos alpha cos beta. Remember, we want to find sine alpha plus beta and cosine alpha plus beta. Now notice this angle here. The measure of this angle is alpha plus beta. If we drop a perpendicular from this point, we get a right triangle with this angle as alpha plus beta. Can you tell me what is the opposite side for this triangle? Yes, it's sine alpha plus beta. And what is the adjacent side? That's right, it is cos alpha plus beta. All we need to do is find the lengths of the opposite and the adjacent sides in much simpler terms. How do we use this diagram to find sine alpha plus beta and cos alpha plus beta? We are going to draw two lines now, one here and one here. This angle formed here is a right angle. Notice we get this rectangle as a result. Why do we need this rectangle? That's because it will help us find sine alpha plus beta and cos alpha plus beta. How does it help us find the value of sine alpha plus beta? Let's understand. We know that the opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. So this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side. Let's focus on these two sides. We know that they are equal. That means sine alpha plus beta is this length plus this length. We know that this length is sine alpha cos beta. We just found that out. Now all we need is this length. So we can say that sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus some value. Let's find this length. Look at this triangle now. It's a right triangle. The hypotenuse is sine beta. And if we know this angle, we can easily find the lengths of this side. What's the measure of this angle? Yes, this angle is alpha. That's because this angle is 90 and this one is 90 minus alpha. And together, these three angles add up to give us 180 degrees. Take a few seconds to understand how we got this angle as alpha. With the help of alpha, we get this side as sine beta cos alpha and this sine as sine beta sine alpha. Now that we have this length, we can say that sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. We found sine alpha plus beta. Now we need to find cos alpha plus beta. Now cos alpha plus beta is this length minus this length. We know this length, it's sine alpha sine beta. That's because these two sides are equal. They are opposite sides of this rectangle. So cos alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. So we see how simple geometry helped us express these identities in simpler terms. In our next video, 
we will learn about other trigonometric identities.